in the previous session we have seen that how we can set up the cypress environment in our machine and now uh, in the session we will see that how we can create and run the cypress test okay so uh, for that purpose first of all i will open my visual studio so this is my visual studio let me open it uh, by default i have set up the project last time my Cypress project, that's why it is open. And if you are uh, want to work on uh, working on multiple project or you want to create a new project, you can simply go file and open a, a new folder here. So I'm going to work on this existing project. Okay. So now uh, in the terminal, you can open a terminal. Terminal is already open there. Okay. And if it is not open, you can go to the view and click on terminal. It will open a terminal for you. Okay. And now in the terminal, uh, we have opened the uh, Visual Studio. Now we are going to open the Cypress from here. So I will write NPS Cypress open. So this is the command to open the Cypress here. So now from this Visual Studio pro uh, project, we are opening the Cypress. So this window will come here. And uh, in this window, you will get uh, two type option that because we are doing first time. Okay, first project we are getting. That's why we are getting welcome to Cypress. And uh, here you can say two options are E2E -E testing and component testing. So E2E -E testing means we are going to end-to-end -end testing and component testing, we are going to uh, go with the specific component. Okay, so we'll talk about in the upcoming sessions. So, uh, let me start with the E2E -E testing here. So in the E2E testing, let me click on that. Okay, so. Okay, now uh, when I click on E2E, uh, it will show you uh, that uh, whenever you are going to create a Cypress, you can say uh, a project here. In the project, it will create few configuration files which are needed, uh, like you can say Cypress config.js, and then it create a E2E.js file, okay, which contains, you can say, your spec file. This is called your... Uh, uh, you can see spec file here. Then we have a command.js and example.js. So by default, it is creating. So for now, uh, we can continue with this one. Okay. So when uh, we continue on this, it is going to initialize our project. Okay. So now we know that using the Cypress, we can uh, run uh, web application test cases on uh, different browsers. So here you can choose the, you can say your desired browser on which you want to run your Cypress test case. So uh, I will go with the Chrome. So simply click on Chrome and click on start E2E testing in Chrome. So when I run it, you will see that it is, uh, you can say that it has opened your, you can say a browser here. So because we are doing it first time, we don't have any, uh, you can say spec file. What is a spec file in Cypress whenever you create any test case? So test case are written in the spec file. So Okay, so now here you can say that you have few examples here and if you want, you can go with the create new spec file here. Okay, so here you can say uh, option is that when you create a spec file here using create new spec, it is saying that it will generate a template spec for you so that it will be, it will, uh, will, will be helpful for you. Okay, now let me click on a new spec. And now here you can say that enter the path of your new spec file. I told you spec file is, uh, you can say spec file which contains your actually you can see your uh, your test scenarios uh, okay and in test scenarios you write the test case so basically spec file is used to uh, define or create your test scenarios so this is the by default path cypress e2e spec okay so now let me create uh, you can say create a spec here so uh, we are doing it first time. So it is saying that great, the spec was successfully added. So uh, it is it has created a default spec for you, like a default code. And if you want, you can write the code. Uh, you can write the code by your own also. And if you don't want to go with this specs, uh, spec dot cy dot js, you can create another one also from here. Okay. Uh, for the timing, we will check that uh, the sample project is working fine or not. So we'll go with the default spec here. Okay. Now let me click on OK and run the spec. So now when I click on run, you can see that it is running and now just see that what is running. Okay, it opened the browser. In the browser, it is uh, X. It is uh, open the URL example.cypress.io. Okay, so now how it is opening? So uh, because it is written in the code in the sample. Uh, if you want to see, you can see the code here. Okay, it is, uh, it is running here. And now let me go to the code here. If you go to the code here, let me, let me uh, go to the file here so you can see that under cypress if you will go e2e 
under Cypress E2, it is the SPAC file. So by default, it is created here. Okay, this is the file. So this is the uh, whenever you want to create, a, you can say SPAC, uh, any specification, uh, there is a describe, you can say uh, describe function for that. So this is a default, uh, you can say uh, default, which is provided as template so that we can follow the same thing. Here. Now we can test it also that like, yeah, my default uh, template is working fine, but we can try some other, uh, you can say URL also. So I will do one thing. I will try my own URL that is this uh, YouTube channels and I will try to open using my Cypress. Okay, so now let me go and this is my code in the code. Uh, C by dot visit is a function which is used to uh, enter the URL in your browser. So I will do one thing. Let me paste my code here to open the, this one video URL. And now when I will save it, okay, when I will save it, what will happen? It will automatically rerun my task case in the browser. Control S, I'm going to do it. And now just see that it is running my test cases using the Cypress again. And this time it has opened my uh, channel here. Okay, so you can say this is my channel. I open the channel uh, URL using my Cypress. Okay, so and you can see the best part is that because I uh, I told you uh, that Cypress uh, runs on you can say uh, Cypress runs on the browser itself, so it is very fast. And the benefit is that you can see everything on the same browser. Right side it is opening uh, the things here, and left side you can see that test uh, logs are there. This spec file. Okay. So it means uh, you can say Cypress running fine and we have run our default, you can say spec or default uh, uh, scenario here. Okay, now uh, in the upcoming sessions, we will see that how we can uh, create the scenarios and different type of function used to use in your Cypress, like uh, visit is a function. Okay, how we can use visit to open different type of URLs, what type of, uh, you can say variation, what type of variations or different type of visit uh, functions are available in my Cypress. So we will see one by one. Okay, so yeah, uh, I hope you like this video and if you have any, question uh doubt you can put in the comment of this video and if you have not subscribed my channel till now you can subscribe it thank you